It's a lovely day here at Fairfax Farm. As you can see, the bees are in the background working away on this clear, fine day. I'd like to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about the woodenware that I've been building for this new addition of 50 hives here to the farm. Inside the garage, there are two stations. There are boxes which are being built for the hives, and over here, there are frames. Now you might be asking, what's the difference? What are the boxes and frames about? As you can see, the boxes are painted boxes made out of wood. This is where the bees are going to live. At this point, as you can see, they're hollow. The box has what's called a frame rest, which is this position here along the side of the box where the frames will rest. The bees will build their colony in these boxes. When we add boxes to a beehive, it gives the bees more room to build and thus, hopefully, more honey for us. The wooden frame. The frames sit inside the boxes, like this. As you can see, the edge of the frame sits on the frame rest. But you'll notice that the frames inside this box are not empty, like this one. These have foundation in them. Foundation is a flat sheet of beeswax that has embossed on the surface the pattern of the honeycomb. Of course, the bees know how to make their own honeycomb, but the frame with the foundation inspires the bees to build quickly and, more importantly, to build straight comb. A frame would contain an entire sheet of wax foundation, but I'm running out and it's really expensive. So I'm using my beekeeping experience to save a little bit of money and a little bit of time because I've got to get these frames out onto those 50 hives. And the idea here is to cut the foundation into smaller bits. What actually end up is a frame with partial foundation. Now you might be thinking, gosh, the bees are going to get all kinds of crazy comb on the other side, but that's not necessarily true. The one thing to remember is that when they're inside the hive, the bees tend to generally build in the middle. They always prefer the center to the outside. Taking advantage of this, I've put the foundation only in the center. But here's my secret weapon. Yes, popsicle sticks, or, more generically, craft sticks. By placing craft sticks carefully on the center, I create an edge that will inspire the bees to continue the line from the foundation in a straight line. You see, when bees build comb, they prefer to build it off an edge. And to make this edge even more seductive for them, I take these and I rub them in beeswax so that the fine edge has got beeswax on it. This is a guarantee that the bees will build straight comb extending off of the foundation. The result is that in the center of the hive I will have a full sheet of foundation but then here beside it and all the way to the end I will have partial foundation. Now, I should emphasize that this whole idea of using a uh, smaller foundation inside the hive is coming from the necessity I have right now of not having enough foundation, but it's also part of my ongoing experiment and desire to have natural comb. You see, the problem with this foundation is that it contains wax from hives uh, that were used commercially, and those hives are full of... Um, chemicals because the commercial beekeepers use a fair number of chemicals so the wax that you see in these uh, in these foundations is not the best and truly natural beekeepers prefer to uh, use their own wax the wax that the bees make so when I do this uh, partial um, filling of the frame with uh, foundation, and as you can see here, sometimes all I do is this. And again, the bees will build off of that. They'll, they'll fill all that in right down to the bottom and use much more of their own natural comb. And this is better. Of course, if you do let the bees build their own comb, it must be perfectly vertical. So it's very important that the hives are leveled. All of these newly installed colonies have not yet been leveled. And if I leave it for too long, those spaces where there's no foundation could result in the comb being crooked and connecting frames and making the manipulation of the colony unmanageable. 
Anyway, that's all I've got for you today on this beautiful morning here at Fairfax Farm.